I moved down here when I was in my early 40s. My parents were snowbirds. I'd given my father a kidney. My son was in college, and I just felt like I needed a change. So I called up a friend of, that I met in real estate, and he said, Harriet, there's a Mercedes-Benz store right down the street from where you live in Fort Lauderdale. I said, I'm in. I have the best job. I love it. I love my people in Pompano. These people are my family, and I, I left work. I was having a lot of problems with my back, and I was misdiagnosed. And well, they gave me an MRI, and they said there is no disc herniation, but there's a nine centimeter mass on your um, on your pelvis, like in your sacrum area. They took me into the emergency room. Um, there was a few other people there from corporate that were waiting for me. They brought me ginger ale. They brought me crackers. I, I don't know. They they were just there for me, and I was looking around. And I was like. Look at these people. I know them. I talk to them. Hello, how are you? We, we kid around. We work together every day. We, 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 we bond, but they're like here for me. When I came back to work in March of 2015, I heard about this Drive Pink thing that they were kicking off. Because of my story and, and what I'd been through, I had the good fortune to meet all these people that were behind the campaign and to learn about it myself. How do you thank someone, the people that would do that? And if they did it for me, they would do it for anybody. And I'm honored and, and proud to be a part of the organization and to give back. And there is life after cancer, there's life with cancer. Larry Zonka, Bob Greasy, Mercury Mars. I mean, the greatness of those teams will, will never escape me. I went to summer camp um, in the Poconos, and there was a whole faction of people from North Miami Beach, and they represented the Miami Dolphins. And they used to sing that song that I'm not going to sing because I have a terrible voice. But you couldn't help it. It was just so infectious. When I was really, really down in the dumps, the first go around with chemo and the second time with radiation, I have a friend and he would come over and he would sit with me even in the hospital when I was hospitalized this past time and he would watch the, the Dolphins games with me and I would ask him every five minutes, who's that? What happened? I, I can't really see, but he had to put up with me because I was fighting cancer. Um, but it took my mind off of it and it was really fun. You know, you just gotta take it one day at a time and try to believe in the days that you feel well, just get up and carpe diem. I have my moments where I cry. You know, you, you cry, you do what you have to do, and then you put on your big girl pants and your happy shoes and you go out and you put your top down and you breathe that fresh South Florida air and, and, and just love life. And it'll love you back.